Ever wondered what lurks in the shadows of the bustling streets of San Francisco's Chinatown? This vibrant neighborhood brimming with culture and history is a magnet for tourists from all corners of the globe. Its winding streets are a delightful labyrinth of exotic smells, sounds, and sights. But today, we're going to take a closer look, peel back the layers of this fascinating locale, and unveil a side that few get to see. San Francisco's Chinatown, the oldest in North America, is much more than meets the eye. It's a place where the past and the present intermingle, where tradition rubs shoulders with modernity. But amongst the vibrant red lanterns, the bustling markets, and the lively banter of hawkers lies a hidden world. A world that thrives out of sight beneath the surface of the everyday bustle. This world is one of secret societies and clandestine operations. It's a world that operates in the shadows, unseen by the throngs of tourists, snapping photos of the iconic Dragon Gate or sampling mouth-watering dim sum. It's a world of Chinatown gangs. These gangs born out of necessity and survival have evolved over the decades into complex organizations. They are as much a part of Chinatown's history as the pagoda-style roofs and bilingual street signs. Yet their existence is largely unknown or overlooked by the thousands who visit each year. So, as we delve into the heart of Chinatown, remember this. Every street, every alley has a story to tell. Some are tales of hope and prosperity, of immigrants forging a new life in a new land. But others, they whisper of a darker narrative. A narrative of survival, of power, and of a hidden underworld that operates under the cover of night. Beneath the colorful dragon parades and tantalizing dim sum, a different world thrives. A world of Chinatown gangs. The roots of these gangs run deep, tracing back to the mid-19th century. It was a time when the allure of gold drew thousands upon thousands to California's shores in what we now recognize as the Gold Rush. Among these fortune seekers were countless Chinese immigrants, hoping to carve out a piece of the American dream. But the reality they encountered was far from dreamy. They found themselves in a hostile new world, facing discrimination, exploitation, and violence. Survival was the order of the day, and the Chinese immigrants quickly learned they had to band together or perish alone. This struggle for survival led to the formation of what were known as Tongs. Initially, these were benevolent secret societies, formed to offer mutual protection and support. They served as a haven for the Chinese immigrants, providing a sense of community and safety in a foreign land that often seemed intent on crushing their spirits. But as time passed, the nature of these Tongs began to change. The pressure of survival, coupled with the allure of power and money, started to corrupt their original purpose. What once were shields against the harsh world outside slowly evolved into swords, wielded with ruthless efficiency. These tongs became the breeding ground for what we now recognize as the infamous Chinatown gangs. The benevolent societies of yesterday transformed into the criminal organizations of today, their operations expanding from protection to illicit activities like gambling, prostitution, and drug trafficking. The story of these gangs is a complex tapestry woven with threads of hope, desperation, survival, and corruption. It's a tale of dreams turned nightmares, of a fight for survival that twisted into a struggle for power. And at its core, it's a reminder of the lengths people will go to when pushed to the brink. The seeds of these shadowy organizations were sown in the soil of survival and desperation. The Chinatown gangs didn't just appear overnight, they grew, gradually, powerfully. The seeds of their rise can be traced back to a myriad of factors. At the heart of their growth were the socio-economic conditions of the time. Immigrants from China, seeking better fortune in the land of opportunity, found themselves cornered into low-paying jobs and living in crowded substandard conditions. This, coupled with the prevalent racial discrimination, left them with few options for upward mobility. The opium trade and illicit yet lucrative business became a tempting path for many, it provided an avenue to wealth and influence, albeit through illegal means. The trade, originating from China, found a stronghold in San Francisco's Chinatown, giving birth to a network of secret societies and gangs. Key figures began to emerge, each playing a pivotal role in the rise of these gangs. One such figure was Little Pete, a notorious gang leader whose cunning and ruthlessness saw him rise to power at a young age. His influence was such that he managed to unite several gangs under his leadership, solidifying his position at the helm of Chinatown's underworld. The Tong Wars, a series of violent disputes between rival gangs, marked a tumultuous period in Chinatown's history. 
These wars, often over control of the opium trade, further entrenched the power of these gangs. They demonstrated their willingness to use violence to protect their interests, instilling fear and establishing their dominance within the community. As the 19th century gave way to the 20th, these gangs had not only survived, but thrived. They had adapted to the changing times, expanding their operations beyond the opium trade to include gambling, prostitution, and protection rackets. They had become a part of the very fabric of Chinatown. By the 20th century these gangs had entrenched themselves in the fabric of Chinatown. The gang's operations extend far beyond the borders of Chinatown. They've woven an intricate web of criminal activities that span across the city and even beyond. At the core there's the age-old practice of protection rackets. Shop owners, restaurant owners and everyday people pay a fee. A protection money if you will, not to the law but to the gangs. In return they're promised safety from other gangs or sometimes even from the very gang they're paying. But the operations don't stop there. They've expanded into the world of illicit drugs becoming key players in the city's drug trafficking scene. From the shadows they pull the strings controlling the supply, the demand, and the streets. This isn't just about making a quick buck, it's about power, control, and dominance. Moreover these gangs have their hands in human smuggling, a darker, more sinister side of their operations. People, desperate for a better life, entrust their fate to these gangs, only to find themselves caught in a cycle of exploitation and fear. The impact of these activities on the community is profound. Fear becomes a constant companion for residents. The very fabric of the community is torn apart, as trust erodes and suspicion takes its place. The city at large isn't immune either. The economic toll is significant, with businesses suffering, and the social cost immeasurable. These operations have also affected law enforcement and policy. The police, stretched thin, struggle to keep up, while lawmakers grapple with finding effective solutions. The ripple effects are felt in every corner of the city, from its bustling markets to its quiet suburbs. And so, we're left with a city in the grip of these gangs. They operate in the shadows, yet their impact is seen, felt, and experienced in the light of day. These operations have left an indelible mark on the face of San Francisco. The reality of San Francisco's Chinatown gangs is a complex tapestry of history survival and crime. A phrase that encapsulates not only the dangerous truth of these underworld networks, but also the key points we've discussed throughout this video. We've delved into the origins of these gangs tracing their roots back to a time of profound social and economic change. We've seen how they rose to power exploiting the vulnerabilities of their community and the wider society. And we've explored the operations and impact of these gangs revealing a hidden world that operates beneath the surface of our everyday lives. These gangs are not just a historical curiosity, they are a contemporary reality. They continue to shape the lives of those within their communities, and their influence reaches beyond the boundaries of Chinatown. They are part of a complex web of organized crime that spans the globe, touching lives in ways that most of us can scarcely imagine. Yet the story of San Francisco's Chinatown gangs is not just a tale of crime and violence, it's also a story of resilience and survival. It's about communities that have endured hardship and discrimination and yet have managed to carve out a space for themselves in the heart of one of the world's most vibrant cities. Today, efforts to combat these gangs continue, Law enforcement agencies, community organizations, and individuals are all working tirelessly to dismantle these networks and provide opportunities for those caught in their web. But the challenges are immense. The gangs are deeply entrenched, their operations sophisticated and their influence far-reaching. As we peel back the layers of this dangerous truth, we are left with a deeper understanding of a hidden world within our own. A world that is at once fascinating and frightening, a world that forces us to confront uncomfortable realities about our society, but it also reminds us that even in the face of adversity, the human spirit prevails. And that perhaps is the most dangerous truth of all.